In this video, I am going to showcase the different Dataverse development tools which you can use with Power Platform CLI. So in my previous video, I talked about the overview of Microsoft Power Platform CLI, that how you can install the Power Platform CLI in your environment. I showed you different ways. And in this particular video, I will be talking about Dataverse development tools which you can definitely use while working with Dataverse environment. So first of all, uh, what is Power Platform CLI? As I mentioned in my previous video as well, you will find the link of that video in the description, in the description of this video. So what is Power Platform CLI? It is a one-stop developer CLI that actually enables the developers to do various operations related to Power Platform, for example, related to environment lifecycle, code components, working with Microsoft Data, Dataverse environments, solution packages and so on. So this is about the Power Platform CLI. In this particular video, we will be talking about that how you can use the Dataverse development tools with Power Platform CLI. All right. So basically there are many tools which are available with Dataverse as Dataverse development tools. But in this video, I will be talking about the three main or major tools which are available in the Windows interface. So one is the configuration migration tool, which is called CMT. Another is package deployer. Another is plugin registration tool. So how to install or how to use these tools? I am going to show you in this video. So to work with or to install this configuration migration tool, the command is pack tool CMT. Similarly, for package deployer, the command is pack tool PD. And for plugin registration tool to install the plugin registra registration tool in your environment, the command is pack tool PRT. All right. So uh, these are the different purposes of these different tools. We'll see this in action. But before that, let me navigate you to the official documentation of Microsoft. This is the official uh, Microsoft documentation related to Dataverse development tools. So you can see here many tools are listed. For example, CMT, uh, package deployer, plugin registration tool, solution packager, and code generation tool. So there are different tools which are available on the official documentation. And this is very important note, the CMT, PD and PRT tools provides a Windows user, user interface only and, and they run on, on Microsoft Windows operating system only. So please remember this. If you are working with Mac on an Apple MacBook, then maybe CMT, PD and PRT tools as a user interface will not be available for you. They are only available with Windows operating system as of now. All right. So let's see these tools in action. How can we use it? So I have opened a, a Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio Code Editor. I am going to just enter Control Shift P to launch the pack help. This is the pack help which I showed you in the last video as well. These are different command groups. Basically, there are 19 command groups which are available as of now. Uh, we will be talking about this particular uh, command group, which is tool. So what I say pack tool help. I'm writing this command pack tool help. So this will help me that what are the tools which are available, which can be installed and launched in my system. So you can see here power platform tools that can be installed and launched. It talks about PRT, it talks about CMT and PD. So list. So let's talk about the list first. So I will write pack tool list. So it will list all the tools and their current status, whether they are currently installed in my environment or it is not installed in my environment. So as you can see, the CMT, the installation shows no. Okay. And PD again, and similarly for PRT, they are showing as no. So they are not installed in my environment as of now. So what we will do to showcase you in this video and to help you with the uh, Dataverse development tools, how you can use with Power Platform CLI. So we are going to install them one by one today in this video. So as I showed you, the command is pack tool CMT. So what I'm going to do is I will write the command pack tool CMT. So what will happen? As I said that, as I showed you in the documentation also, that a user interface will open and with this command pack tool CMT, it will install the this particular version of CMT in my environment. And what will happen when we will again run the command pack tool list, it will show that the particular tool has been installed in the environment. So this is the window which will be visible when the CMT, that is the 
a common data service configuration migration tool will be launched you can either create schema export the data or import data so this is just related to the configuration of that tool now the second tool which we are going to do the installation is the package deployer all right so for that what i can write is pack tool and for the pack tool that is the package deployer pack tool pd this is the command which you can use to install the next dataverse development tool in your environment all right so you can see this that this is the package deployer screen for the configuration what it talks about is that the package deployer lets you package one or more crm solutions data files and custom code operations together into a package that can be deployed to any crm environment the package deployer also supports the upgrade of existing package deployment so that is how you can uh, configure this package deployer in your environment so the package deployer has already been installed now now the third and the last tool which i wanted to show you is plugin registration tool and for that the command is pack tool prt so we are going to install this third and last tool for the dataverse uh, development which will help us in the dataverse development using power platform cli so this is the plugin registration tool window you can either create a new connection reload organization replay the plugin execution or view plugin profile so that is how you can do the configurations with plugin registration tool for dataverse so once all the three tools for dataverse development tools are installed in your environment what you can do is you can just just check the status of the installation again by running the command pack tool list this will give you this command will give you the status of the installation of the different tools which we talked about in this video that is cmt pd and prt and now you can see the status is showing as the installation status as yes and on the same lines once these uh, tools are installed they are also available in the start menu of your system so you can see here plugin registration tool package deployer and configuration management tool these are available because these are installed in your environment now so that's all in this video i hope you have understood that there are dataverse development tools which can be installed using power platform cli and which will help you in your dataverse development thank you